Okay, we're here at the Bantam Tools desktop CNC booth here at IMTS 2022. We are optimized for aluminum and okay. everything softer than aluminum. Got it, okay. What we stand for at Bantam Tools is professional reliability and precision. Okay. And we mean it. All right. This thing can hold tolerances. We're talking plus or minus a thousand of repeatability right out of the box. Awesome. Three and a half thousandths over six inches of tolerance right out of the box. So cool. All that can be dialed in. The desktop CNC milling machine is fourth axis compatible, as you see here. Love which it. Which means you can take out the T-slot pallet, put in your fourth axis pallet, do index milling, continuous milling, everything's integrated. There's even integration of the fourth axis into the to the graphics interface here. Okay, so you'll cool. see all of it before you even do it. So you guys have a, uh, you have a control, you run it usually off of what, a PC? We run off a PC. Okay. Yeah, we have a, a, a Linux controller coming. Okay, For Sounds now good. it's on PC. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so it's running on PC. So you would, you would hook it up to your desktop computer, plug it in via- uh, USB. Uh, USB, okay, yep. so it's running on USB. Uh, tell me a little bit about the build volume here. We're talking seven by nine by three and a half on the desktop CNC. Okay, and these are, are these steppers or are they closed loop servos? These are steppers. Okay, they're we steppers. They run open loop. Okay, so they're open loop. Yep. Tell me about how many RPM spindle, how does your uh, how does your little collet in there work too? Okay, we go 10,000 to 28,000 RPM. Okay. This is an ER11 collet. Little tiny ER11 collet. Little tiny, yep, okay. up to quarter inch tooling. Let's pop that door open and get some of that glare out of the Love light. it. Oh, even better. Shank. Okay, so how do you guys handle tool offsets and tool setting? So, tool setting is done through conductive tool clutch offs, which means okay. that we send voltage through the tool, and as soon as that tool touches the bed, it completes a circuit and sets your tool height. So, you can just put in your end mill, hit go, it's going to touch the surface and it knows how how much offset it's supposed to have. That's correct. That is awesome. Yep, so, no, no, I mean, you can literally program whatever you want. You don't have a tool changer, but you can just stick it in there, press cycle start, make sure it's, you know, set deep enough so you're not gonna run into your, That's exactly your right. tool. Yep, and when you change tool in the middle of the program, just touch, touch off the bed again. That is so cool. So, so it's off of the bed or it's off of the top of the workpiece? You set your tool height off of the bed. That makes sense. Um, okay, so if, that's our if datum there. the bed is covered, you can touch something like a bracket or a vise. Okay. Uh, it'll offset from there. Very cool. Okay, so it's driven by ball screw here. Yep, we're on lead screws with an eight cool. millimeter pitch in X and Y. Okay. Four millimeter pitch in Z. Awesome. That does a lot more precision resolution in Z. Very cool. What did you say it was? We're at 250 watts on our spindle. 250 watt spindle. Yep. Okay. And you have a couple test parts over here you can show us? Absolutely. Here is our absolute favorite fourth axis This part. is from my fourth axis on a Bantam. Yes, oh it is. my gosh, you Absolutely. guys. If you want to make pieces, you're going to want to get a Bantam Tools CNC. Look at that. That's it. I mean, the detail is incredible. Do you guys have a post processor on Fusion right now? We do. Okay, so right they have the a box. Fusion 360 post processor. Okay, no need to build a custom post. You can get the post right out of the box from Fusion. So cool. Want to talk about the small one? Let's talk about the small one. Yeah, let's, let's go look the at the Explorer. One. All right. This is the Bantam Tools. Our CNC milling machine. We just launched here at IMTS on Monday. Oh my gosh. Very, very excited about it. So this is a new offering? Yes. Wow. Brand okay. new. First time anyone's ever seeing it in person is here at the show. Please, go ahead. This is the little brother to the desktop CNC milling machine. We've got cool. a 6 by 4 by 2 and 3 quarter build volume. Oh my gosh. We're sticking with that ER11 color. So this tiny little machine can still do up to quarter inch chain killing. Yeah, yeah. Wow, look at that. Showing off the air blaster here, oh, running a little, little vacuum pump thing. to get the chips out of the way while it's doing its engraving oh process. Got it. So um, we're we're just trying to blast air or vacuum. Yeah, you push this up to a compressor or a shop air at 90 pounds, get those chips out of the way. Keep it's going to work just fine yep. for aluminum. Yeah. How do you guys get chips out of here? Just vacuum them out of the bottom. Yeah, we do. Awesome. Yeah, okay. we have a shop vac. Um, some attachments to go with it to get into the small nooks and crannies. That, that is works out real so well. cool. Look at these parts. That's a great surface finish. Nice chamfer. You can tell these holes are well made. Super cool. Tell me about this controller. This is this is something that's coming, you said? This is coming, yeah. And this, this is, is running our, on Linux? This is our Linux-based controller. Okay. We're in alpha right now, and as you can tell by the, the freaking case here. But we're working on the touch screen. Very cool. And we'll be able to run um, a nice, beautiful interface by the time we're done with it. 
basics in the all touchscreen full features. Awesome. So will this be an add-on or will it be included with the Explorer? It'll be an added accessory. Okay, yeah. sounds good. You have a price point for these yet? Not yet. Not yet, okay. The Explorer itself starts at four thousand dollars okay. for the base machine. Got it. All the kids. Everything you're seeing here except for the low profile vice and the air blaster. What is the what is the four pack or the, the desktop CNC start at? Sixty five hundred dollars. Okay, awesome. Yep. So good price point, you can actually make parts. You could do production, fourth axis on that. Uh, what's the additional cost for the four? Five hundred dollars for the four. Rooster? Yeah. So what, the, what's the significance of the rooster in Bantam Tools? The Bantam chicken is a is a breed of chicken that is smaller than a typical chicken. Oh my gosh. Uh, but it still packs a punch, right? It's yeah, got yeah. the same egg laying capability. They're just as aggressive as their huge uh, ant. Yeah. Okay, so if you were ever wondering why why the chicken with Bantam Tools Small but Look up the Bantam Chicken. Yep. The Bantam Chicken. Small but mighty. I love that. Look at some good 3D surfacing demo here. I brought this one out here so you can check out the kind of wall finish that you can get. Look. I mean, that is good. That's a good finished part that you can make on your desktop. You can Look at this Raspberry Pi case. Did you guys cut the... We did both halves. Oh, that is so yep. cool. Uh, it's a polycarbonate top, aluminum bottom. That's really cool. Oh, whoops. Where did I go? Right there? Yeah, good. Cool. So, and all these are, all these explorers are pretty much the same. Yes. The three okay. are in a row here, but we're trying to show. So, we're building these keychains here. We're building these keychains here. There's two parts. Uh, we put a laser pointer in it. They're fun giveaways. That's cool. So, we're making them here um, in, in four operations. Okay. So two parts done. Gotcha. This one in my hand is man in our production tooling back home. Gotcha. But, um, so each machine's yeah. essentially doing a setup. Yes. So one tool per machine. Got you it. don't have to change it. We're just the parts down the line. Cool. Okay, so we're going to do a tool change really quick. So Let's get this out of the way. Process. Okay. All right, so we're going to touch this tool up. It's all conductive. Boom, just like that. You're good to go you're good to go cut now. So it's just that easy. And everything's a datum off of the bed. Yes. So you can it's just like a tool setter, it's consistent, it's gonna be repeatable. So you guys you guys will just put what you have as a conductive probe of some some kind. Do you have that here? I mean, yeah, I do, I can show you that. Let's do it. Let's show the probing quick. All right, so we're going to show the probing cycle for the uh, Explorer here really quick. So I'm going to go ahead and install that probe so it knows the exact height of that. Same idea. We'll get it off the left side here. So we got to get our probe height so we know where Z's at. It is a quarter inch pin. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Material setup and select automatic stock probing. It's going to ask us to set it within one inch of the front left corner stock. Look how good this UI looks, by the way. All right. Start. Okay, here we go. So she just hit. So it's just got a probing macro built in already. Going to come all the way over. We're going to get our X offset quick. Right there, got it. I'm gonna get Y. Okay, we're good to go. That's it. All it's all set. Set, set. work pieces set. If you had a uh, stops on here, you could just sit and put stock in and hit cycle start. Show me, show me this UI really quick. Is this a cloud based or is it local? It is local. Okay. Uh, you can actually download this right off of our website. Okay. Uh, without even needing a machine. Gotcha. It's much more fun with a machine. So you can mess around. You could simulate. You could learn the uh, user interface if you wanted to. What's the name of the software? This is the Bantam Tools Milling Machine software. Awesome. So okay. we make it. Uh, we love this interface. Uh, you pull in a G-code file. 
We do have some onboard CAM capabilities. We can okay. do pockets, full spacing, and text right in our, our software. Cool. For complex 3D, you'll want to import a nice G-code okay. out of uh, whatever CAM program that you use. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we'll pull that in. Uh, you set up your material, set up your plan separately if you want. You have full control over material offsets if you want to. Very full cool. Full control over plan offsets if you want to as well. And then basically once you're all set up and ready, you'll have your tool pass showing up here on your stock in blue. And at the Look very how end, good this looks, you guys. It looks a, so good. A summary at the end showing you any potential concerns the software has for your setup. If none, then you hit the no all button. And go. Good to go. Cool. So... You will program all of your speeds, your feeds, your spindle RPM, everything like that inside of Fusion 360. You will then import a G-code file into the Bantam Tools milling software. That G-code will recognize what your tool is going to do and probably give you a, a 3D preview here Absolutely. in the Bantam Tools. And this is a good looking GUI. I really like it. I like that they have the table modeled. You can probably see if you're going to have some kind of a collision or something like that. Make sure your tool is going to fit between, you know, the certain constraints of your work area. And then when you're ready, you can hit cycle start. I don't imagine a crash in one of these is the end of the world. It is not the end of the world. All right. Some of the, the best thing about this machine is that you can learn on it. You can crash it and all you have to do is rehome it. Absolutely. And you're good to go again. All right. Anything else you want to say? It's been a long week. I bet it has been. I like it's, your energy. Thank you very much. You still got it. Cool. Well, thank you so much. Tell me your name again. Emily. Emily? Emily. Okay. Thank you. Eric, Are you, thank you I'll, so much. I'll tag you guys. So, okay, thank you guys. Thank you very much. Excited to see where these go. Me too. Check out the Explorer and the full-size desktop CNC from Bantam Tools. Don't forget the Bantam Chicken. Cool. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Okay. Oh, my gosh. My own laser pointer. Sick. That is so sick. Look at the surface finish. This is no joke. Oh, and it's a multi-tool. It is. <laughs> so laser pointer, sick. flashlight, bottle opener. Very cool. Yep. Thank you so much. That's super cool of you. Okay, I appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks, okay, guys.